In this lesson, we will learn how to use cell statements. Cell stands for collection expression language, and it is a really powerful way to select locations in the scene graph that we want to operate on. To start by cleaning up some of the unwanted locations from our asset hierarchy. We can remove any locations that we don't want from the hierarchy using the prune node. Press tab and type prune. I'm going to connect it right below the merge node where I have merged the camera and the importomatic together. And I will press the N key on the keyboard to rename it. I'll call it prune underscore empty locations. I'll also delete the disabled nodes here as we no longer need it. I'll expand the scene graph and I'm going to remove the locations that I've highlighted here as these are mostly locations that do not contain any useful data. I'm holding the control key while left clicking to select multiple locations. With the location selected, set the edit and the view flag on the prune node and middle click and drag the locations from the scene graph into the add statements in the prune node. If you look at the top left corner of the prune node, you can see that this is a cell widget. On the right side, click on the add statements drop down menu. Cell statements have three different modes available to choose from. These are Paths, Collections, and Custom. We already saw how to work with the Paths mode when we just used it in the Prune node. And we also used it in some of the previous lessons. It is ideal to use Paths when you already know the explicit paths to the scene graph locations that you want to operate on. But even if there is a very small change to the name of the hierarchy, then any path that we have added needs to be updated as well. Let's look at an example. I don't really like the name of the scene graph location, so I'm going to change it. Let's set the edit flag on the importomatic, and in the name parameter, I'll change this location name to assets. If you expand the assets location, you can see that we now have all the locations that we pruned before added back into the hierarchy. This is because the locations we were pruning are completely different after we renamed it. This is where custom cell statements can be useful. Although this is a very simple scene and we don't really benefit from using custom cell statements, for the purposes of this lesson, I'll ignore that. To make learning custom cell statements a bit easier, I'm going to use the cell scratch pad tab. This tab lets you experiment with cell statements without affecting anything in the scene graph. So let's disable this prune node for now and from the tab menu, open up the cell scratch pad. I'm going to dock it next to the attributes tab. Click on add statements and choose custom. Let's say that we want to select all the locations under Assets. I'll middle click and drag the Assets location into the custom cell statement. I can also type in this path, but doing it this way saves us a lot of time and reduces the chance for typing errors. At this point, we have only selected the Asset location which you can confirm by left clicking on the small grey circle with the arrow symbol and choosing Find and Display Results of this panel. A floating panel opens up which displays any scene graph location that matches our cell statement. In order to select all the immediate child locations under the assets location, we need to follow a specific cell syntax. Let's add the following to the cell statement. Type forward slash followed by the asterisk symbol. If you choose find and display results again, you can see that we now have all the location under assets selected. But let's say that we only want to choose these specific child locations under asset we need to approach this differently. I want to select any location that has GRP in its name. Click on Add Statements again and add another custom statement. I'll middle click and drag the Asset location again into the new custom statement. But this time, I will append that with the forward slash followed by the asterisk symbol and then the name GRP, which you need to type exactly as it is in the scene graph, including any capitalization. This syntax tells Katana to start searching from the Assets location and find any location that ends with the name GRP, regardless of what comes before it. Let's display the results again. And as you can see, it has matched every location ending with the name GRP. If you look at the new custom cell statement we added, it has a drop-down menu at the top right corner, which is set to union. If you're familiar with the set theory in mathematics, it is exactly the same in this case. Union would mean we're combining the results of both the statements together. Let's find and display the results of each of these statements by clicking on the small grey arrow in each of these statements. What we want here is to select elements that are present in the result of both these statements, which we can do by choosing the intersect mode. Click on the drop down menu and choose intersect. The intersect mode only selects elements that are present in the results of both the statements. If you now click on the larger grey arrow at the very top, choose find and display results. And as you can see, 
We now get the combined results of the two custom cell statements we have added below. I want to remove the lights group from this list, so I'm going to add another custom statement. Middle click and drag the lights group into our new custom statement, and this time, from the drop down menu, choose difference, as we want to subtract the result of the statement from the output generated by the first two statements. Find and display the results using the large gray arrow to confirm. You can also use the find and select in scene graph option to select them in your scene graph instead of displaying it. It's a good practice to always check the results of your custom cell statement as even a minor typing error can change the output. There are two more locations that I want to keep here. The xgen location which is currently empty but I like to keep this as we have a fur asset that we haven't imported yet. We also have a camera asset included with the ABC file that we are going to use for our final renders. Add a custom cell statement and middle click and drag and drop the etchgen location into the cell statement. And now, instead of adding an additional custom cell statement, I'm going to add multiple paths together in a single statement. Middle click and drag the render cam location into the same statement. And now add a plus sign in between them while making sure there are spaces in between the plus sign and the two statements. Since we want to add the results of the statement to the previous parts, I will keep the union mode. Keep in mind that the order of the operation here matters when we are using the intersect and the difference mode. Find and display the results and we can see that we have all the parts we need. In the next lesson, we will implement what we learned about cell statements into the prune node.